Hello, my name is Margarida and welcome to a new video. So this notebook, as you can see, is not my bullet journal, but it is my reading journal. And in the end of 2022, I posted how I did these spreads, but I didn't explain it. And now this video is explaining my reading journal spreads and what spreads I have. So I have my goal spreads and my goal this year is to read 35 ebooks or physical books and 30 audiobooks. So this is what this spread is and now this is my bookshelf spread where I'll write every book I've read or not. Maybe I'll paint it depending on the media that I use like physical books, ebooks or audiobooks. Then I have my reading stats so for each month of the year I have the physical books, ebooks, audiobooks and total books that I've read in that month. So I have 12 months to represent the months of the year. And as you can see, physical book, ebook and outer book. In total, of course. And I have a spread that is one to read and that is like a wish list, like books that I want to buy, but I'm pretty sure that I'll buy them. So I'll write them down. Then I have my physical TBR, where I'll write every book I own that I haven't read, that is a physical copy. Then I have my series spread where I'll write what series I'm following and what books I've read and what books I haven't. So I have big spaces for big series and small spaces for duologies or something that they have only two books. Then I have a spread for my 2023 releases. I did one last year with 2022 releases and it was really useful, so I'll do it again. And I have a new spread that is my 5 star books where I'll write what books I consider that are the best books I've read because this year I'm thinking about not giving stars, not giving a rating to books because sometimes they are good but I cannot rate it properly. And then I have a quote in the bottom of the spread that says a negative mind will never give you a positive life. Then I have a space to write what audiobooks I've read and I don't have that space for physical books because I have my physical TBR and once I've read the book I'll cross the book. So every book I buy I'll put in there. And then I have some space for my ebooks as well. The stickers that I've used, I'll link the store down below, is a little bit difficult to pronounce so I'll just leave it linked. And the other ones are from Etsy or Aliexpress or something, my friends gave it to me. Then I have my literary resolutions spread. So this is different from my goals, because my goals are a certain amount of books I want to read. In this case it's 35 ebooks or physical books and 30 audiobooks. But the resolutions are something that I want to change from the past year to this year. And they are, don't buy new books until I read every book I own, unless it's an all-booked book, it's from a series I'm reading, it's from a favorite author. And listen to audiobooks I have interest and don't listen to one just for the sake of listening to one more book. Then I have a 2023 book club choices and I have a book club with some friends and it's called All Booked. And we already have a book for January, February and maybe March, I guess. And that's the space to put every book we read this year. Then I have this almost blank paper sheet where I'll write 23 books I want to read in 2023. And I think that's a great idea. Then I have some blank space just for me to write like some reading challenges and something. I already saw some that I want to write and I want to participate. So this space is for that. And yeah, that's all for my yearly spreads. Then I have my monthly spread. So this first spread is my January spread. And I have a space for to be read, books I read and some other reading stats. And now I'm going to show you how I did this spread. So here you have a clip of me opening the notebook and doing my January spreads. So let's follow along. And because I didn't have glue when I did this spread, I'm gonna be a little bit more creative on how I glue stuff down. 
so this paper is actually a sticker so it was really useful I thought I was writing Janeiro which is January in Portuguese in camera but actually I was off camera so you only see the final result and that is completely fine then I wanted to use this scrap paper because I used it throughout the yearly spreads and I thought it would look good in January so my technique was to use stickers to glue the paper down or washi tapes or something. So in this side of the spread I have a space to write my TBR for January and these are the books that I want to read this month and hopefully I read them this month and actually I already read one book that's very strange to me because I take a long time to read a book but this month I already read one and it was actually a book from my book club with my friends All Book Book Club and probably you saw that but the little logo from our book club it was designed by me and I was really proud about that then I have a space for books read so the books I've actually read because maybe I don't read all of books of my TBR and maybe I read some that I don't have on my TBR that's completely fine and normal so I have a space for that on the bottom I have some reading stats so how many audiobooks I've read, ebooks, physical books of that three categories, then the book with the least amount of pages and the book with the most amount of pages. And then I also decided to write non-fiction books and graphic novels or manga, how many I've read. And these are some stats. As you can see, it's really plant, floral theme this month. I can change it up every month but I'm hoping I do like the same layout and the same things every month of the year. So in here I'm just putting some washi tape and a sticker and then on the bottom I'll write every book I've read and a little explanation with the cover page of the book and my thoughts about the book and things like that. So that was how I did these spreads and now as you can see I'm pointing at the stats that I wrote but I already explained it so that's okay. And then I'll put my reading stats and the reading stats that I did in the beginning spreads and then I have everything right month by month side by side. So yeah, I have these spreads, there are not a lot. In my previous reading journal I could fit two years in a row and that was really useful but this one is a lot smaller so I can only fit one year. So this notebook is from a store called Alma de Papel and it's a Portuguese store and I fell in love with this notebook once I saw it and I thought it was a good idea to do my reading journal there. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next time. Don't forget to follow my social media and subscribe to this channel. Bye, see you next time.